Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Land Rover 90 2.5 short wheelbase diesel um, in dark green with a white roof, lots of checker plate. Um, I've just done 120 miles in this and it's, uh, it's driven absolutely superbly so far. Um, got about another 30 miles to go. From the front we've got um, Land Rover front bar with a set of big spots. Um, the big spots aren't wired up actually. Um, I think the switch is there but I don't think the wiring has been done yet. We've also got um, front light guards, checker plate on the uh, front wings and the bonnet. Um, super set of uh, um, Colway G-Tracks, they're 26575R16s, so they're nice big wide things on, the, on this one. Um, plenty of off-road tread, but they're not too bad on the road either. On the, uh, the steel modular rims, which is quite nice. Um, it's got checker plate along the, uh, the sill covers. Um, it's also got combination side steps and rock sliders on it, which is uh, quite nice to have. Actually, are they rock sliders? Not really, more just straightforward side steps, but uh, they do protect the sills as well, so uh, I guess you can call them rock sliders. Um, it's also got uh, um, rear light guards on it with the sort of uh, vestigial small um, steppy bits on the, uh, on the back there. Um, factory adjust, adjust factory style adjustable height tow bar uh, that's it really spec wise let's walk around it obviously being a Land Rover that's been used for a bit of off-roading as this one has a bit of green laning it's got a few battle scars but they only add to the character of these put the bonnet down properly um, so I'll just open that to photograph it from the front um, we've got a bit of um, scuffing and well, it's taken the, taken the paint off just on the very edge of the offside front wing, just here, uh, where it joins there. Really needs to be touched in in the right colour. A uh, bit of stone chipping around the um, front end. Looking down the near side, a couple of, you know, it's all aluminium, so you've got a couple of little dinks and stuff in the, in the sides. A um, bit of electrolytic reaction just here that's taken the, uh, taken the paint off just on the near side front wing. A um, couple of touched in here. It'd be better if it was touched in the right colour green, really, just on the near side door. Uh, another one there. I say just usual, usual scars, but overall, from, looks pretty smart. A um, bit of marking and paint loss and touched in area just here on the um, uh, rear panel. Oh, one other thing: the um, rear windows on it have got uh, privacy film on them, so you can't really see in. Which is quite nice. Looking down the near, down the, uh, at the tailgate, we've got some electrolytic reaction on the tailgate. Um, in fact, there's some on the freight tailgate frame, at the bottom there is just starting to rust a little bit. Uh, looking down the offside, we've got sort of a, a dented, slightly dented area just here above the, um, the the wheel arch protector, which is once again has been. Um, painted in in slightly the wrong colour green, slightly too dark green on there as well. So, so if you actually bother to touch it in in the right colour green to match it, it'd be uh, a, lot, a lot better. Um, there's a bit there that's been touched in a too lighter shade of green. A bit of electric to reaction on the bottom of the driver's door. Um, that bit's been touched in just where the, the door's opened and the check straps have stretched uh, and it's folded it in and broken the paint slightly. So that's been touched in. It's probably the worst bit on the car really. Um, that's about it right, from the exterior. I'm um, just looking up here at the um, the flat panel or vent panel. Um, looks okay around the sides here. Just starting to delaminate slightly around the top of the vent. Possibly had a little bit of work just up here in the past. Um, and the same just there, but it's still got a fair bit of life in it yet. So yeah, a little bit of work's been done on the, uh, on the vent panel. Interior wise, it's all in pretty good shape. Don't know where these seats have come from. They're actually um, they're actually quite suited and they, they fit nicely and do everything proper. Let's turn the volume down the stereo. Uh, it's got the centre seat, it's got three seat belts, inertia reel belts for the driver and passenger. It's got the cargo and luggage guard in there. It's also got a fire extinguisher and a tow rope. How good the tow rope is? Well, one way to find out. Um, radio stereo. Interior is quite nice on it really, all round. In quite good shape. Um, that's about it. My name is Simon. You can reach me. Oh, one other thing that the driver's door card here is a bit ragged just on the uh, bottom lower edge here and stuff like that. Usual stuff for Land Rovers though. It doesn't really detract from the character of them. 
My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or 0118 946 3352. End.